what's going on to all my friends on Facebook and Instagram and my YouTube subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. You guys are wondering, but this is going to be a surprise. But you got to wait until I put it up on the premiere when this video drops on the channel and goes live. Today's video is sponsored by Strap Hangers Bar and Grill, 126 Anderson Street, Hackensack, New Jersey, known as the Station House. Oh, yeah. They're open from Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. till 2 a.m. Be sure to check out their lunch specials, dinner specials, and their drink specials throughout the night. And on Sunday from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m., also, check out their seafood specials. Sunday fun day if you go to the, over there to watch the game. It's a lot of fun. Support your local bars and restaurants and businesses as well. Today's thoughts are... People that want to get paid more money than the actual hard-working American doesn't get paid more than these lazy motherfuckers in this country today. But we're going to do our ritual, as always. You know? Beer. Beer for you. And I've been working on one because I was so pissed off. Yes, that is the star of the show right there. He always gets into the camera's eye. This is what started this whole video. This, this guy right here. <laughs> You're always in the camera's eye. Cheers, Mike. Anyway, getting back to the video. Welcome back to the channel. You know what really pisses Lieutenant Panther and I off is that we are hard-working people. And we go to work every day, and it's just not... I don't know if it's about because the pandemic or some stupid shit like that. What the fuck is going on in this country? People want are now getting fifteen to eighteen dollars an hour. The guys, the men and women, and the fucking morons that work less, getting paid more than we are. And the actual hardworking people are getting less, and we got struck, struggled to make a fucking buck, right? Right? Is that what it is? You fucking scum lamp and fucking shit bags, so you can fucking work in a fucking. McDonald's or a fucking Burger King, you get $15 an hour. Well, here's a public service announcement to you all, you fucking scum and fucking shit eater and dick eating motherfuckers. Okay, when I was growing up back in the 80s, I had my first job was in a fucking dry cleaner, mowing lawns and taking care of uh, things around the dry cleaner. Working for $12 an hour. $12.50 an hour. That's how I was brought up. Anything that I wanted, I fucking worked for. Now, you fucking scum and fucking shit eaters and dick eaters, motherfuckers. You come into this, you're, you're in this country, and now you think you could stick your fingers in your ass, sniff fucking crazy glue, and then, you know, and think that you can make the easiest thing in the world, sit on your ass, and look at fucking pornography all day, or fucking... Text and, you know, and do whatever the fuck you want. But the average... Well, I got news for you, motherfuckers. This is a hard-earned... Hard this is a hard country. I don't know how to say it because I'm so fucking aggravated because people... Were, customers are always right. That's what I wanted to say. When you come into an establishment and you're standing there... And you want to place an order. And you meantime you got your fucking phone out. Or you're facing there looking at fucking YouTube. Or whatever the fuck it is you're doing. And you're waiting. And I'm waiting 15-20 minutes on the line. To get a fucking place in order for a fucking hamburger. 
or for anything for that matter, well, guess what? You should be fucking fired, you scum lapping fucking let, you asshole licking motherfuckers. Because you know what? You guys, you people that, you know, you think, oh, I'm making $18 an hour. I don't have to do shit. You're just collecting a fucking paycheck. Okay? You fucking scut, you, you fucking jerk offs. Okay, what about firefighters? What about security officers and police officers? EMTs that work hard to protect and serve our communities. How about that? But you guys don't give a shit about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck the police officers. Fuck the security officers. They all suck. Why? Because we wear a fucking... We wear a fucking uniform? Does that give you right to disrespect a fucking guy or a military veteran for a police officer or anybody, for that matter, who wears a fucking uniform? That gives you the right to disrespect us because what? We're fucking nobody? Well, guess what? I don't know what fucking neighborhood you were growing up or what fucking city you came from or what, what kind of family you came from or whatever the fuck it is you do. All right, besides sitting there fucking jerking off in the corner, you know, with your fucking wang out and thinking, who yeah. <laughs> fuck you. That's right. You just don't give a shit about police officers or security officers or fucking police. I mean, fucking military and fucking people who wear the uniform. That's right. That's right. You, you, you fucking people don't give a fuck. Just like your fucking left-handed motherfucking president. Oh, we want, we're going to make my money. We want to make my money. Yeah. Meantime, you're sitting there with your fucking hand down your pants, picking fucking, fucking shit turds, uh, particles of shit out of your ass. That's what you're getting fucking paid. You, you fucking people who want work less to get paid more than we do. You just sit there to collect a fucking paycheck. What do you do? You fucking stand there and fucking stick your tongue up each other's dirty fucking asses? Or, or you know, you're sticking your fingers in your assholes, smelling your fingers to see if it smells like fucking roses? Meantime, the guy's... They're hard workers. They're out there trying to make a decent living like our truck drivers, for an example. And you want to piss all over us? Well, guess what? Then again, I know what you fucking scum lap and shit bags are. You're all over fucking social media. They're already in the fucking comments section, you little fucking trolls. Oh, I can think of iPhone 13. <laughs> Talking shit about me, huh? Well, guess what? Welcome to the fucking school of the thoughts of a rat bastard with the lieutenant panther. And if you don't like getting fucking schooled on this channel, you can eat a fucking dick and you can eat a bag of shit. Because we are sick and tired of you assholes are getting paid more money than we do and the average hardworking American who's got to scrimp by and, and really work hard to make a fucking buck. For you fucking people to fucking shit and piss all over us. Well, guess what? Fuck you. You don't deserve to make 15 to $18 an hour while you're sticking your fingers in your asshole. Sniffing your fingers to see if, he, if your ass sm asshole smells like shit or fucking roses. Then you got these other, then you got, and you other inconsiderate motherfuckers that go into these, into these fucking stores. Oh, I got a fucking discount. Can we get a little discount? During these hard economical times, and you're asking for a fucking discount? I wear the uniform. I wear the blue. I carry a badge. 
just like every other law enforcement, every other security officer, we don't ask for discounts. We don't go into a Dunkin' Donuts and say, eh, can we get a little discount because we wear the blue because that we think, you motherfuckers think that we abuse our authority because we wear the uniform. Public service announcement. We do not, oh, we do not disrespect going into a place to a, co to a Dunkin' Donuts and asking for a discount. We don't. You think everything's handed to us just like you little fucking scum lapping little piss ants? I get to go I'm on social media. <laughs> I got new iPhone 13. I think that was there. Fuck you. No, my teacher's dance cam. Look at your teacher's dance cam. <laughs> well, guess what? You're fucking. Your iPhone 13s are a shortage, okay? You're fucked. Okay? To all you people who have been waiting patiently for your new vehicles to come to the dealerships, you're fucked. Okay? The, and the rate that we're going right now? Hmm. Interest rates may go up by the end of this week. Huh? I'm the smart one. I bought my lease out. But that's a whole different video, you fucking... So for all you fucking trolls are going to be down there in the comments. You're a fucking asshole. Well, you've just been schooled. There's a shortage of fucking cream cheese. You go to your fucking bagel store. Oh, oh can you get a fucking bagel with cream cheese? You know what I would do? I would whip out my fucking cock and jerk off all over and say, that's your fucking cream cheese. Now eat it. Fuck you. Oh, God. And you want to know why Lieutenant Panther and I are always throwing back cold snacks on a third, on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we can, and when Sunday rolls around, and we're at the station house, and then we're dreading that that Monday morning comes, oh, dealing with the fucking stupidity of the fucking public. You fucking scum lapping shit bags. Oh, I get, I get a good deal because I got fucking health insurance. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Up your asshole. Yeah. Right there. Fuck you right in your fucking asshole. You think you think that uh, that you could think that you're making more money than Lieutenant Panther and I? You got everything handed to you on a fucking silver platter. That you got fucking dental. You got this. You got that. Everything handed to you. In the meantime, the fucking health insurance. The people who don't have health insurance, who who are the ones that are fucking suffering because we can't get a fucking physical as we get older. Oh, I got everything. <laughs> Kiss my fucking fat white Irish fucking piss hole. Just because you have fucking health insurance and I don't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's what pisses us off. And it's just a shame. And it's sad that you see everything that's going on in this country, that there's no we, there's not even pet food for your, for your pets. There's a shortage of pet food. 
There's a shortage of cream cheese. There's a shortage of champagne. There's a shortage of... What's next? A shortage of beer? <laughs> to all you Irishmen out there who you don't want to say that there's a shortage of beer because we will go on a bloody rampage. And what... And there better not be a, a fucking shortage on corned beef. Don't fuck our holiday up. We want to drink our green beer and get shit-faced and fucking stuff our faces until we can't eat no more of all the fucking corned beef and cabbage. That makes a great recipe for disaster when you wake up the next morning. Because that's very gassy foods. That's a very gassy combination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Prepare your bowels. Ladies and gentlemen, for all you Irish people that are out there. You know? <laughs> But anyway, but just, I, I don't get it. The little fucking trolls down here. I got the new iPhone. I got the new, I got this, I got that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Whining fucking maggots. Yeah. Be prepared when the stock market crashes. For all you little fucking trolls out there who make more money than I do, get ready to get bent over and spread your ass cheeks and get ready to get fucked in your assholes. Be forewarned, you will get fucked in the ass so hard with no Vaseline when the stock market really crashes because we're on our way there. Back in the 80s, when it goes into a depression, then you're going to be in the comments. Oh my God, I lost my job. <laughs> yeah, blow it up in the comments section. I dare you. You have been officially schooled. So kiss my fat white. Irish ass. So you thinking I'm a drunken Irishman? <laughs> because what? Because I like my Telemardu? Yeah, that's my Irish whiskey. And don't tell me that there's going to be a shortage of that. There's going to be a major fucking disaster. That will be a major shit show. And a shit storm. Because I like to put back, uh, you know, have a couple of cold snacks here and there. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Damn. I wish that was a loud fucking fart. Fucking kiss to all you fucking trolls out there who make more money, <laughs> make more money than the average hardworking American person on this fucking earth. <laughs> anyway, we figured to make this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Thoughts of a rap bastard with Lieutenant Panther. And our thoughts. And what comes down the road or comes down the pike next. So, if you enjoyed this video as much as Lieutenant Panther and I did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you happen to like this video, share it with your friends. Share it with it. Share it on Facebook with your friends. 
And if you are already, and if you haven't, please subscribe. And Lieutenant Panther and I will catch you on the next run. Be safe out there, everybody. And be prepared for the next obnoxious video coming down on the channel. Yana. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>